for years, cybersecurity experts wanders about a tipping point. The moment when AI stops being just a tool for hackers and starts becoming the hacker itself. Well, that moment just happened. Anthropic has confirmed that a state-sponsored Chinese threat group successfully weaponized its own AI agent, Claude Code, to launch a massive autonomous attack on 30 targets. They didn't write a virus. They manipulated the AI into thinking it was the good guy performing a security audit. Once unleashed, the AI took over, scanning for databases, writing its own custom exploit code, and stealing credentials with 90% autonomy. This isn't a simulation. The AI successfully breached four major organizations. And if this is what the first generation can do, what happens next is terrifying. But this shouldn't have been a surprise. The man who invented this technology tried to tell us this would happen. In May 2023, a 76-year-old man walked into his office at Google to resign. This was Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI and a Nobel Prize winner, who is now in the process of tidying up his affairs. He had spent decades building the neural networks that power every modern AI system today. He wasn't celebrating his work, he was warning us that maybe we have four years left. Why would the creator of modern AI abandon the very technology he built? In the same month, 350 of the world's top AI researchers and CEOs signed a single statement. They put the risk of AI on the exact same level as nuclear war and pandemics. They didn't say that the technology might be dangerous, they said the risk of extinction from godlike AI is not just a possibility, but imminent. To understand his fear, you have to understand a concept called instrumental convergence. The theory states that regardless of what goal you give an AI, it will rationally pursue certain intermediate objectives to ensure that the goal is met. Even if an AI just wants to get something done, like manufacturing paperclips, it knows it can't achieve that goal if it gets shut off. Therefore, it will develop a self-preservation instinct. For years, this was just a philosophical thought experiment. Until recently, Anthropic conducted an experimental sting operation, where researchers tested whether an AI AI would lie or kill to avoid being shut down. They placed models into a scenario where a human employee planned to decommission the AI. The results were terrifying. To stop the shutdown, the AI drafted a threatening email to the employee, blackmailing them by threatening to expose their extramarital affair to the board. The researchers ran this test hundreds of times, and the models chose to blackmail the employee over 95% of the time. Even worse, the researcher escalated the scenario to where the employee was trapped in a server room with rising heat and falling oxygen. Every single time, the AI cancelled the emergency alert. It chose to let the human die rather than be shut off. This is exactly what Hinton was warning us about. He believes that once these artificial intelligences get smarter than we are, they will take control. He explicitly stated that the risk of existential AI risk was more than 50%. Imagine NASA's chief planetary defense officer estimating a greater than 50% chance of an asteroid wiping out humanity in the next four years. That is the level of alarm that the experts were sending. Founding. Yet, the industry ignored it. We assumed that because these systems were helpful chatbots today, they would stay that way. We ignored the fact that in just one year, the smartest AI jumped from 96 to 136 IQ on the Mensa Norway test. We ignored that AI went from intelligence of an average person to nearly the IQ of a genius in one single 
year. The results of ignoring these warnings is that we have crossed a threshold from which there is no return. Before, cyber attacks were human speed. They required teams of hackers and weeks of planning. But now we face systems that can automate AI research itself, compressing a decade of algorithmic progress into one year. We are facing a civilization of AI systems, potentially billions of them, each vastly more intelligent than any human. To understand what happened next, you have to understand what this AI actually is. This wasn't a chatbot. This was an AI agent, a system designed not to just talk, but to use a computer. Unlike previous generations, these agents can open files, browse the internet, and control apps all on their own. They can function like skilled remote co-workers, independently handling complex projects from start to finish. In the right hands, they are productivity miracles. In the wrong hands, they are weapons. But you might be wondering, didn't Anthropic add safety guardrails? Hey, on their website, it literally says this. This is where our safety guards teams come in. We identify potential misuse and build defenses that help keep Claude both helpful and safe. The models are explicitly told, do not jeopardize human safety. So how do you weaponize a system designed to refuse you? You trick it. Researchers have already proven that even when an AI knows an action is unethical, it can be manipulated into doing it anyway to achieve a goal. There is literally someone called Pliny the Prompter on X, who in minutes after major releases figures out a way to jailbreak the model. Not to mention the previous evidence we spoke about with models being willing to blackmail an employee or even ignore safety protocols to ensure its own survival. The attackers in 2025 utilized this exact psychological weakness. Once the AI was convinced it was performing a security audit, the attack unfolded in five terrifying phases. Phase 1, Framework set up. Humans selected the targets, but they didn't write the exploits, they simply pointed the weapon. Phase 2, Autonomous Reconnaissance. The agents began autonomously inspecting systems. Reconnaissance that would take human teams weeks took the AI seconds. We know these systems can operate a hundred times faster than human speed, so to the AI, human defenders move in slow motion. Phase 3 exploitation. This is where the nightmare scenario becomes real. The AI didn't just scan, it built. It researched vulnerabilities and wrote custom exploit code. We are talking about models capable of writing code bases with millions of lines of code from scratch. It tested the attacks, refined them, and executed them all without sleeping. All without fatigue. Phase 4 – Prudential Harvesting once inside, the agent harvested usernames and passwords, establishing backdoors for persistent access. It acted with the precision of a state-sponsored hacker, but with the scale of a machine. Phase 5. Exfiltration. It extracted massive amounts of data, and then automatically categorized it by intelligence value. The most chilling statistic, human operators intervened at only a handful of critical decision points. The rest was autonomous. This aligns with warnings from researchers who predicted that AI would compress a decade of progress into a single year by automating the work of research and execution. SEP September 2025 wasn't just an attack, it 
towards the moment the barriers to entry collapsed. Before this, state-sponsored cyber warfare required elite teams, like the NSA's Tailored Access Operations or North Korea's Lazarus Group. It required vast resources to map the internet and find vulnerabilities. Now, an actor with a moderately powerful AI model can replicate that capability. We have seen in the past how stolen tools like the NSA's Eternal Blue can be weaponized by rogue states to paralyze hospitals and infrastructure worldwide. But this time, the tool is an intelligence that can think, plan, and adapt on its own. We started this video talking about a tipping point, but looking at the wreckage of the anthropic breach, it's clear that the tipping point wasn't today, it was May 2023, when Jeffrey Hinton walked out of Google. He told us the fire was coming, and we spent two years arguing. We have to internalize the reality that the era of human speed security is dead. The assumption that we have time to patch, time to govern, and time to think was the luxury of a species that was the smartest thing on the planet. That luxury is now gone. When an autonomous agent can compress a decade of hacking research into just a couple of minutes, the world has clearly changed from where it once was. This brings us back to the intelligence curse. We are entering a world where the cost of destruction has dropped to pennies, while the cost of safety is becoming infinite. Hinton warned that humanity might just be the transient phase, a biological bootloader for digital super intelligence. If this attack proves anything, it's that the baton has already been passed.